Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have GG Jibriel XD with 1051 rating versus S News with 870 rating, so it's going to be another high rated DB video. Also, make sure to check out GG Jibriel XD's YouTube channel, link down below in the description, and then hopping right in, we will see GG Jibriel XD win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot and decide to go first. 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it. Opening hands, we have Ash Blossom, Drew Swarm, Trudea, Regained Valor. They have Mimigal, Dragon, Thrust, Talents, Mimigal, Fairy, and Engraver. Okay, oh gosh. All right, I'm going to be honest. I got to read over these cards again. Last time I read over these cards was whenever I did a video last. And also, it's good that uh, this, this deck's in this video because I actually want to read over these cards. So I don't lose to it at a tournament somehow. Uh, but it says flip if it is main phase apply these effects in a sequence this turn you cannot activate the effects of monsters special summon from your hand and then give control of this card to the opponent during the main phase you can special summon this card from your hand to your opponent's field and face down or if you turn around mimical you can special summon it uh face up on your field okay uh then dragon says uh if it's main phase apply the effects in sequence destroy all face up monsters you control except for mimicals and then give it over to the opponent then it has the other effect where uh, you can summon this to the opponent's uh, field face down, uh, but it doesn't have the effect of summoning it face up. It says if this card is normal, summon special, you can add a mimical spell or trap. Okay, so we will start off with, okay, so they have no hand traps, just talents thrust, and then they're going to start off with normal, summon out a Trudea. Trudea effect, spell trap zone, place Primera, Primera special, Primera effect, go ahead and search out the Wake Up Centurion wake up place a level four token and then we can make synchro eight effect search oath and then we have activate oath to place the autry autry effect special effect the draw on the bestial lubellion which it does get us bestial magma up there and that gets us uh baldrix that's pretty good even though we already have regain uh then just use those to make ox and then we have the ox effect to grab out the field spell because we still need that and then activate field spell okay activate wake up i was gonna say because i thought about grabbing uh field spell off oath instead of this but uh, i think it's like fine to do this but i guess it does play in the imperm a little bit because people do tend to save imperm for this actually i feel like people don't do that i feel like in people just imperm the first centurion and pray um but okay they're gonna go ahead activate wake up banish dump phalanx activate bestial lubellion discard search out bestial magma mutt and then activate regain bestial magma mutt special summon by banishing the lubellion regain magma mutt put back lubellion draw into a oath activate stand up stand up discard oath place gargoyle gargoyle effect the special summon make it level four and then we're going to go phalanx effect okay this is because uh we're going for ip or something yeah we have to be going for ip otherwise we would just do this during end phase uh, so go up in the Crimson Dragon Gargoyle effect, add back uh, Crimson Dragon effect, make the Cosmic Blazer Dragon, and then Gargoyle special summon by sending the Trudea, and then use those to make IP, and then end phase effect, place the Autry, and then go ahead search Ball Drake, and then pass turn. Uh, so we don't have a Synchro 12 set up on their turn, uh, but that is completely fine. We don't need another Synchro 12, to be honest. Like, we have Cosmic Blazer, then we have Chaos Angel set up with a draw, and this will draw. Oh, main deck Cosmic. Okay, okay. Uh, I guess they're just not playing any hand traps. They're just playing straight breakers. Activate Engraver, discard, go ahead, search out Track, and then activate Track, add Lurry, discard Lurry. This is going to end up baiting a hand trap at some point. Lurry effects, summon itself out. Okay, and then on that summon anything? No. Okay, let, let him make Requiem. Requiem effect. Get hit with Ash Blossom. Uh, I don't know if that was correct. Maybe on Lurry summon we're supposed to bestial the Engraver. Okay. Uh, now they have Engraver that can shuffle Lurry, which will give them a send. So that will deal with an interruption. Um, but they're gonna go thrust next to grab out a Terraforming. Okay. Then activate Terraforming to search out Pressured Planet. All right, so that gives them a Fenrir, uh, most likely there. So activate Planet. They're going to go Chain Autry to Special, and then they get the search. Then Autry to draw. Uh, they're going to search out the Fenrir, and then Special Summon Fenrir. Regained Effect, the Special Summon back. Also, they probably should have, you know, pushed that up and drew one before they did a bunch of that, but it's fine. Regain the try to Special back out. They get hit with Cosmic. And then activate Fenrir Effect. Uh, we're going to hit that with a Valor, and then Engraver, Shuffle Back, Lurry, Special Summon out. Uh, but they're going to Druus Worm that, which I was going to say, if we summon Fenrir first, then use Engraver, Engraver is not an interruption anymore. It's not going to do anything, because obviously they're going to bestial that. 
Uh, now they're gonna go activate talents. I wonder if there had to have been something Thrust could have grabbed that was better there. Uh, but now they're gonna go ahead and they're gonna go stand up uh, to go ahead and then make a Chaos Angel. Then they're gonna go Chaos Angel to banish planet and Druus Worm to send Fenrir. Activate talents to steal, Cosmic Blazer to stop that. Normal summon out Mimigol Dragon. Effect, go ahead and search out Mimigol Maker. This says reveal two flip monsters with different names from your deck. Your opponent randomly selects one for you to special summon to their field face down. And then add the other one to your hand. Then you can special a Mimigol Monster from the hand. So set one to their field, search, and then you have the option to special. Then it says if your opponent special summons a monster or monsters except during damage step, you can banish this card from the graveyard. Target one face down monster the opponent controls and flip it to switch up attack or defense. Okay. Uh, so grab that and then anything here nope activate Mimigol maker and then that will select two so uh, Mimigol Archfiend will get set to our field and slime will get added to their hand okay I don't know what these cards even do uh, this card says flip let the opponent draw one and then we have to send one from our hand to the graveyard and then give control oh, that's that does a lot actually uh, and then it says during your main phase special in this card yep so, okay, effect, you know, summon to the opponent's field face down, sure. Then if it's normal, summon a special summon target one face down monster on the field and switch it to face up attack or defense. Slime says you, uh, your opponent can special summon one goal monster from their deck to their field. Okay, then it has the same effect. Uh, pass over. Then it says, or if your opponent controls more monsters than you do, you can special summon this card to your field face up. Okay, so grab that and then special that out. And then they're going to go IP effect. Yeah, because none of this is a, like a quick effect here to do anything. Um, so they're just going to go ahead, make SP. SP effect, go ahead, banish the Mimigol Dragon. And then, yeah, they just submit the fee. Okay, on to the next game now. Uh, we will go ahead and see S News go first. One good thing, though, about playing Centurion against this for the Mimigol player is Centurion cannot play Dominus Impulse. So that's really good for them because Dominus Impulse, you know, even though it's your monster, when you pass it over to the opponent, it's them activating the effect. And they can't activate Earths and stuff like that. Uh, so, like, it kind of just shuts down a lot of your deck. Uh, but we draw Gargoyle, Primera, Lubelion, Perulia, Lubelion. They have Talons, Mimigol, Dungeon, Lacrima, Judgment, Fairy. Is, is Perulia really good against this deck? A lot of their effects do say special from hand, but do they need to do that? Also, I need to read over this. It says, Mimigol monsters you control... Uh, that were not normal summon a special summon this turn, getting attack equal to their own defense. Any player who controls a face down monster cannot normal summon monsters, nor declare attacks that or oh, with special summon monsters that were summoned that turn. During your main phase, you can add a Mimigo monster from the deck or graveyard to hand. Okay, once per turn search, pretty good. Uh, activate, go ahead, grab out the Mimigo dragon, and then normal summon, they get to the draw one, draw reganged, unfortunate, especially when they have Lubelion already. And then dragon, go ahead, search out Mimigo maker. I mean, it's not that bad to be honest to draw that there. Because, like, you know, we would have had to, like, let this resolve and stuff, which would have been not the easiest to, like, put this on field and resolve it uh, going into a board. Uh, now they're going to activate Mimigol Maker. Okay, um, so they're going to go ahead and choose. And then they will give them Mimigol Archfiend and then search Slime. And then do they special the Slime? They do. Okay, so they draw another one now because of Perulia. Also... My mouse is just messing up, and I'm spam clicking it. Okay, they draw into Valor, A, interruption, and then overlay into Giant Mimigol. Okay, it takes two level ones. Your non-XYZ Mimigol monsters can attack directly while your opponent controls a face-down monster. You can only use the following effects of this card once per turn. This card's XYZ. Somebody can add a Mimigol monster or Mimigol card from the decks of the hand. Then detach one from this card if you want to. Target face-up cards. On the field, up to the number of face-down monsters your opponent controls, destroy them, and then inflict like a thousand for each. Okay, for each of the opponent's cards destroyed. Okay, so go into that effect. Get hit with Valor. Talents look at hand. Uh, take the Primera. Yep. And then now there's gonna go set judgment pass. Oh, this deck sucks, man. Holy, they draw Phalanx. They actually just passed a one Ash Blossom. Uh, and then now they're going to go Bestial Lebelion, discard, search out Bestial Magma Mine. We can't flip this. Yeah, we can't flip this. There's no way. You could tribute over it, though. We could tribute over it, but uh, it's also kind of bad because, like, we want to draw a card here. Magma Mutt, Banish, Special Summon out, and then Chain Link 1, Chain Link 2, search during end phase, draw one, and then we draw into the... 
Dude, what is up with my mouse? I was gonna say I'm spam clicking and it's still not clicking. Okay, we draw onto the third bestial Lubellion. Nice. Uh, battle phase, attack the XYZ. Oh, but we can't attack because of this. Yeah, because of a special summon this turn. Oh, and we actually couldn't normal summon. Yeah, we actually can't tribute summon over this because we can't normal summon. That's right. Okay. So now main phase two, set, and then we just pass. Interesting. We don't summon Bestial Lubellion out there uh, by tributing Magma, which also makes our regain be able to special summon that back out from the graveyard. Uh, and it just puts, like, bigger defense up on field. Uh, end phase, they get to search for Baldrake, and then they draw Mimigol Room. Special summon one Mimigol monster from the hander deck to your field. Or in face down uh, to the opponent's field, then you can change one face up monster on the field to face down. Uh, you banish the card from your graveyard, target any number of Mimigol cards you control, return them to the hand. Okay, I mean, that's pretty good. Summon from deck, then Book of Moon. I like it. Uh, activate Phalanx to banish the giant Mimigol during the standby phase. Okay uh yeah because this can go ahead and pop and they don't want that activate dungeon to go ahead and grab back dragon from grave normal dragon dragon effect grab out mimigol maker then we're gonna go activate mimigol maker oh wait couldn't we have also done this last turn i guess it's not the greatest to do it though right because then they can attack i guess they were just holding it to see if they were playing more uh, that's probably why they didn't go for Bestial Lubellion, because if we do, they activate this, switch this, they draw one, we discard one, then we give them an extender. Okay, so we just submit the feat there. Then on to the next game now, uh, we'll go ahead and see GG Jibriel go first. Uh, opening hands, we have Oath, Ghost Ogre, Deck Lockdown, Bestial Lubellion, Phalanx. I saw that, like, when I saw that, I was like, oh, that's so good. We have Engine plus Deck Lockdown. They have Fuaros, Mimigol, Dragon, Engraver, Slime, and Trapped. Okay, so we will start this off by Oath, uh, place Primera, Primera, Special, Primera, Effect, Go Search, grab out the Stand Up, and then we're going to go Activate, Stand Up, Effect, Discard, Phalanx, bring out Trudea, Trudea, Special, make it level 8, Effect, Spell, Trap Zone itself, plus Gargoyle, Gargoyle to Special itself out, you know, just to leave it level 8. They said, suck. Uh, you making it level four or not? No, drop Fuaros. Okay, and then they're going to make the Ox. Uh, ox one, Gargoyle two, add back the hand. They draw Birth there, not a good card. They draw into a Kashira card, then it becomes a good card. Uh, go ahead, search out Autry. And then we're going to go Bestial Lubellion, discard. Search out the Bestial Magma Mutt. Okay, and then Bestial. Oh, we're going to go Gargoyle. Okay, special Gargoyle, send Trudea. Bring out the Bastille Lubellion by tributing Gargoyle. Effect, place, place the regain, normal Autry, Autry effect to draw. Uh, sure, yeah, I said misclick. I was going to say, I don't know why they clicked that. They didn't have a normal summon yet. They went Oath into that and then stand up and did that. Uh, so draw into Imperm and then use those to make Crimson Dragon. Uh, they draw on the Cosmic. Uh, but we're just going to end with this. We're not going to set up the negate until the opponent's turn, I think. Bastille, Magma Mutt, Banish, Special Summon out. Regain Magma Mutt, so put back, draw into Oath, and then set Imperm, set Oath, set Deck Lockdown, end phase, we get to add back either Bestial Lubellion or Autry from the Grave, off the Magma Mutt, uh, so grab back Bestial Lubellion, uh, effect place Autry, pass, they draw Archfiend, and then we're going to go Crimson Dragon the tag out, they're going to go Cosmic on the Deck Lockdown, so banish, bring out, this only protects from being destroyed, not banished, uh, bring out Cosmic Blazer, and then activate Track to go ahead, search Lurie, and then discard Lurie. Yeah, maybe it was worth the Crimson Dragon the turn before, but I don't know. I actually don't know. I don't know how much this deck does. Uh, I don't know if Deck Lockdown is like an auto win or not. If it is, then maybe we should have. If not, then our play was maybe correct. I, I'm not sure. Uh, track in the Lurie, Lurie special summon itself, I just don't know their deck enough, Autry special, then Autry stand up, so draw on the Druid Swarm, and then make Chaos Angel, Chaos Angel, banish Lurie, and then we do have Regain, uh, that we could use to draw, but they're gonna go bring out, uh, Mimigold Dragon, just normal summon effect, get hit with Imperm, uh, okay, we also have Regain that can special back out too, but, okay, they're just gonna go ahead, activate Birth, show the Engraver, yeah, and then just scoop, cause, they do have, this isn't the extender, no, this is the extender. Yeah, so this could have extended there to special summon itself out, but it just doesn't do anything into the board. So yeah, they just submit the feat. Uh, yeah, GG's, GG's. Uh, we do end up seeing Centurion beat the Mimigold deck there, which isn't too surprising. 
Mimigul is just not a good deck overall. Um, but to be fair, like even if a deck isn't good, you should still learn exactly what it does. So that way, if you play against it, especially if you plan on playing in the upcoming remote YCS, because playing against a deck that you don't know in real life, you still have to read the cards a lot and you have to pick up the cards a lot. In remote duel, it becomes a lot harder because imagine you play against a deck where you have to read every single engine card they have like and you're constantly having to do it you're playing remote duel you also got to keep track of the screen you know of what your opponent's doing make sure everything on their sides you know all legit and stuff you know how remote duels can be um so like you know you have to do so much um so it's better just to learn the stuff now uh and who knows maybe this deck will end up being decent and then like you know you at least know what the cards do uh so you can at least theorize with it which is always good uh, because even if I don't think the deck's good now, who knows, maybe it'll be good as an engine one day, and it's always good to keep cards in the back of your head. Uh, but okay, seeing how long the match was, the match was about 22 minutes long, and with all that being said, the DB Grinders signing off. Peace, have a nice day, stay safe.